I know we're all pressed for time, so I thought I would show you some things that you can do at your desk and hopefully get your strength training in for the day um, while you're at work. Or if you are at home, you can also use these. Um, if you're doing something, even watching TV, you could do this. Okay, so your feet are like this. Now this chair moves, but it rolls. So you're just gonna squeeze. This is a great for, this is hamstring curl. I don't know if I tied my, my pan tight enough. It might pop off. <laughs> Anyway, so this is a great exercise for the back of your hamstrings. And again, if you're at work and you know you have your desk the other way, hopefully nobody can see what you're doing. Just back up a little bit and try to get 16 of these in. It's a really good workout. Okay, so there's one for the um, for the hamstrings. Now I'm going to show you how to do the inner thigh. Is you just leave one leg here and you're just going to pull it towards you. There, I'll try to turn. It, would, it helps when you have a chair that does not swivel because <laughs> I'm fighting this one to keep it from going. But anyway, you're just bringing your leg in and it's a small movement, but when I do it, I can see my muscle there. I am as tight as it can be. Squeeze and down. You want to do 16 of these and you would do the other, the other leg. But for time's sake, I'm just going to keep it short. So you do both legs, inner thigh and hamstring. I can get this untied. You can also leave it here and you can do a seated row. So back up a little bit and you're just going to pull it back. And now you're doing seated row. This might be a little more conspicuous, but anyway, you want to do 16 of these. This works the big muscle groups of your back. If you can do more than 16, then you need to tighten up your band. I never like people to go past 20. If you are going past 20, you're, you're not really going to benefit a whole lot. Because you need to be shaking at the end of your sets to know you've really put in a good effort. Okay, so we've talked about how you can hit your hamstrings, inner thighs, and your back. So now I'm going to show you how you can, we'll finish up the legs and then I'll take you to the upper body. So finish up the legs. I'm going to start with my ab abductors because we've done the inner and tie this tight and you can either take it out and in with one leg and do one leg at a time and this is your stabilizing leg or now this would really look silly but <laughs> you take it out and then this works more of your core also out in out if you really want to work your stomach then take your feet completely off the ground out and in otherwise you just out and in i like to work my stomach at the same time so why not so you would do 16 of those and i'm gonna have to tighten it even more and take it down here Be sure to tighten it or it will snap right off. Okay, so we're going to come down, tighten it good and tight again. And this time we're going to work your quads. So the first exercise is straight leg lifts. And you should feel it get real tight right in here. You do 16. Then you can also do knee extensions and do 16 of these. And you would do both legs. So I have showed you um, a seated row. This is an upright row to work your shoulders. 
I'm just going to pull it up and down, up, down. So do 16 of these. Then you can do some lateral raises. 16, and you'll do 16 on this side. Then for chest, I'm going to take it out here. Out and in, out and in for 16 of these. Okay, so after you do 16 of these, then we're ready for biceps. So you want to lock your elbows, lock your elbows here, squeeze it up and down, and do 16 of these. Again, if my band's probably not tight enough for me to actually get a good workout, so you would only be able to do it 20 times. For now to target the back side of the arm, your tricep, you just lean forward and you want this shoulder not to move at all, just to stay in this position and the movement is at the elbow joint. And you're pushing back. See my, my, my arm is shaking already. So these bands are awesome. They're really tightening and toning your body. With the bands, you do not build bulk, but you will definitely get, like a lot of dancers use these to strengthen their muscles, to get that sleek, toned look um, that most people really don't want to get any bigger. We just want to be firm and tight and strong. So these bands are awesome. Again, you can buy these just about anywhere at any drugstore. I think they have them. Um, Walgreens, um, CVS, Target, Walmart, um, in the fitness, uh, like sporting goods stores, Dick's, and of course Beachbody sells these on my site, so these are always available there. Um, they're very inexpensive, and they're definitely something that you can take to work with you and get this little workout done. It is so time efficient to do it while you're at work, so that's why I'm really encouraging people that work, get some of your own fitness stuff done at work if you can. Um, if you're on a conference call now, probably not so much a webcast if you can, if they can see you, but if you're on a web 